What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. Uh, coming at y'all to talk to y'all. Because I haven't been on here in a while. So I think I need to share some things with y'all that a lot of y'all might want to know. Might not want to know. Might not care. Might care. But I feel like most of y'all care. So I'm just coming to share with y'all um, how I really feel. Somebody asked me that. And... I appreciate that question instead of always talking about, you know, cancer. Uh, I appreciate somebody asking me, how how you really feeling, you know? How do you really feel, you know, on the inside? How do you feel on the outside or whatever? But anyway, I was coming to tell y'all how I feel at times. Because different times, I feel different ways. So, for one... Being told that you have cancer is like being told that you're going to die today. Seriously, in, in my head, that's what it felt like to me when the doctor diagnosed me with cancer. I felt at that very moment, at that very moment now, because... I didn't know I thought that I was going to die that same day or tomorrow, you know, because I was in the hospital at the time, and that's how I felt. And then somebody feeling like they're going to die, I don't know if anybody ever felt that way, so you might not understand where I'm coming from. Your mind start to thinking, oh my gosh, my kids, my family. My husband, my life, my mama, my sisters, my grandma, my everybody. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Help. Help. You just immediately, it, it just starts to, different thoughts, emotions just start to rush completely over your body. And then you become totally different than what you were before. Prior to, prior to somebody actually saying that you have cancer not me somebody else but just hearing somebody say that to you even though you feel the same way that you felt two minutes ago before they walked in the room your body's still going through the same thing but your mind instantly changes at that very moment your mind just changes and you don't know what to do I didn't know what to do. You completely become in a state of shock, a state of worry, a state of anxiety, a state of stress, a state of depression. Your whole life flashes before your eyes. And that's pretty much is what it is. Because if you don't, if you've never dealt with having been diagnosed with cancer, I'm trying to make sure I use my words wisely, y'all, because I'm not claiming anything or none of that. None of that. Is not going down here, up in, up in here, okay? Because now I have got my mind together right now at the moment. Because your mind comes and goes. Your mind, my, let me speak for myself. My mind come and go. One day you up here, next day you down here. One day you way down there, next day you right back up here. Sometimes you go back up, down, it, it comes and goes. Your mental, your whole mental state has changed. And that that in itself can change the whole person besides the sickness. Nothing to do with having actual, you know, being diagnosed. Not, I mean the actual sickness, but just somebody telling you that's what you got. Really messing somebody up mentally. Now, mentally, I must say, I must admit that I, I don't even know. Some some days I'm up, some days I'm down. Like I said, I don't even know if I'm coming or going. Uh, I know a lot of people comment on my videos and they, and they say, you know, a lot of a lot of y'all tell me positive things. Some of y'all tell me crazy shit. Uh, some of y'all, you know, just keep me in prayer that's that's all well and good appreciate it i thank you for keeping me in prayer and i just wanted to let you guys know how i really felt inside it's a mixture of a whole bunch of emotions at first then it kind of dies down 
after different people tell you different things. Then it kind of blew, blasts back up, you know, and then they tell you, oh my gosh, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this within like, maybe within like two weeks, I was, I was taking chemo and I was taking, doing radiation treatments and it was so much. I didn't even have time to process what was really going on. I didn't have time to think. It was like, we got to do it quick, you know, nip it in the bud before we get out of hand. Okay. So your mind thinking, fear. Okay. I know God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. You know, you know all the church stuff. Yeah. But you can't help but not to be afraid because of all the things that's going on and all the things that's people telling you. You got people telling you stuff. I got subscribers telling me stuff. I got family telling me stuff. I got friends telling me. People, everybody has advice. And it's so difficult for the person that's taking in the advice to suck it all in. People telling you to eat grass. People telling you to smoke weed. People telling you to drink oils. People telling you to do the chemo. People telling you not do the chemo. People telling you don't do this. Don't do that. Eat this. Eat that. Okay, I'm one person. I'm one one person how can i take in all of that and know that your advice is good enough for me yeah a lot of people want to say oh dr sebi this and dr sebi that and dr dr seuss this and dr seuss that and this that and, and the other and pastor this and the third you know but how am i supposed to make a decision when everybody telling me different things you know it's not that I'm making a decision based off of what people are saying me or what people are telling me because ultimately in the end I'm going to be my own judge. I'm going to make my own judgments. But it's good to always take advice from people. Advice from people. But at the same time, if you get so much advice that you can't even absorb it all because you're getting so much, you're getting led to so many different paths, it's, it's, it's beyond stressful. So that's why a lot of my videos, I had to, a lot of my video making, I had to cut back because of, I can't take it. I can't take it. It's like, that's fucking killing me and nothing else, you know? I'm not sick from being diagnosed with, you know, <laughs> that. But the, the, the stress and anxiety the, the thoughts, the good thoughts, the bad thoughts, that's what's making me sick in my mental. It's been times and times again I wanted to just say forget everything and just go hide somewhere and, you know, just be in my own little world. But I can't because life still goes on. I have to keep moving. I have to keep living, breathing, eating. And I'm trying at the same time to focus on being the best me that I can at the same time <sighs> living in a treatment facility with a bunch of other people who have been diagnosed with cancer. That's where I was. It was a very depressing time in my life. Um, We're going to talk about that later. But right now, I just wanted to come on and just tell y'all how I feel and how things just be crazy in my head. And I just want y'all to understand that things go up and down for me. But at the end of the day, I'm okay. I'm okay now. I'm, I'm getting better. It's taking a minute, but I'm getting better. But anyways, I'm going to be back with a couple of more videos. That's all I got to say in this video. How y'all really feeling today? Okay? That's the question I want to ask y'all. How you really feel? And that's all I got to say in this video, y'all. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.